Good morning, everybody. I'm Neil Thompson. I'm an editor for This Week Community News, and we're out here at the beautiful shops at Worthington Place for the indoor Worthington Farmers Market. Today is the day that we've all been waiting for. It's our Meet the Press event for This Week News. So I'm here with uh, several of my colleagues who, I, I guess for the Facebook Live, they decided they didn't want to necessarily be in it here at the booth. Um, but they are out here. We're having a great time. We've met so many members of the community this morning. It's been fantastic. And so we're going to be out here uh, probably until close to the close of market, a little after 11 a.m. If you're seeing this and you want to stop by and see us, you have that opportunity. But again, I'm Neil Thompson. I'm an editor at This Week. And I'm here with Carol Hershey. Uh, she owns the High Road Gallery. And uh, this is an example of some of the interactions that we've had this morning. Uh, we've gotten various um, story ideas, some concerns shared with us, all kinds of different things. And I think we have a story idea for the High Road Gallery coming up here that you're going to see sometime this year. And Carol's going to tell us a little bit more about it. Now, this is very impromptu, and I'm delighted to be able to tell you that 12B Stafford Avenue is celebrating its 200th unit anniversary right now, and we are going to be having a party in December for the city to celebrate the fact that we have been in a gallery for 17 years, and this building has been a residence since 1818. So it is a very important part of the history of this city, and we hope that everybody in Worthington and and, uh, and the whole, uh, whole area uh, realizes what an important addition this is to our community. So I really appreciate this opportunity. I, I washed my hair. I didn't, <laughs> didn't really expect to be talking on camera, but this is great. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with the Worthington News and getting this uh, into people's homes. One quick question for you, Carol. Sure. And you have an event going on right now. You have you have an, you have uh, you have exhibitions. We have uh, yes, and uh, this next one coming up, we have a reception for on the eighth of April. We're not doing it the first because that's Easter. So, and Jim Glover and his students are going to have their work hanging in our gallery part, and the rest of the artists will be there with their works. Uh, we do have. 12 other artists who have studios in the gallery. So it's really fun to come and see all the different kinds of art that are represented there. What's the admission for those? None. Zero. It's free. That's free. A, a, a free is always the right and price. And we have also free food. We oh. all do. We do great reception, so we always have a lot of food. Be careful. I don't know if you knew this. Free food often attracts journalists like flies. Oh, really? So it's, oh. uh, okay. Well, that's okay. We don't find journalists. That's oh, great. It. All right. <laughs> we, have, we celebrate them, too. So. Fantastic. You might see some of us uh, no, show up to that great. at some point here. Good. So that sounds like a great opportunity. <laughs> Carol, thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank, and thank you. you for that. What a surprise to get to do this. I love it. <laughs> That's what we want to do. So All thank right. you. Hope you have thank a great you. day. Thank you. You too. Well, we have several different um, booths here at the uh, at the farmer's market. We're just going to do a quick walkthrough, show you what's here. If you've never been here, this is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, during the winter months, the farmer's market moves indoors here at the shops at Worthington Place. Um, we're going to do a panning shot here in a minute, and you're going to see all the people that are here and all the different booths that are available. There's pretty much something for everyone. Right behind us we have flowers, um, there's food, there's all kinds of different things. It, it's a fantastic opportunity. What you probably already know about is the uh, outdoor market that's going to start up here in just a few weeks. Uh, the market's going to move back outdoors in Old Worthington. It's a wonderful place. you got produce, you got donuts, uh, you have even my friends over here at Silver Bridge Coffee. Uh, I don't I think it's kind of funny that uh, the farmer's market organizers here put us right beside coffee. Journalists tend to run on caffeine, so this has been a wonderful location for us. I've already uh, been able to use, uh, drink some of the coffee here this morning. We're going to take a closer look right now. As you can see here, they have a little bit of everything. Uh, from dark roast to light roast and all kinds of things to put in it. Just a wonderful opportunity if you are in need of a little bit of caffeine this morning. We'll uh, walk around here and take a look at what else is uh, offered here. Pardon me. 
Honey and different wares uh, are available here. This is a booth right next to ours. We're going to walk through and keep going up some of the aisles here. The flowers I mentioned earlier. You bought three for sure. Hi. Hard to believe everything that's available. Uh, we have herbal drink syrups and some different things here. I saw these gentlemen setting up earlier. A lot of people have been stopping by here. And as you can see, there's just there's just been hundreds of people in here that all morning. It's it's been hopping. It's been busy. And um, it's, it's just the place to be on a Saturday morning. Hi, guys. Hi. Well, a little bit of everything. Uh, we're promoting our lettuce and then uh, our tacos. So, hamburger sausage we have here. Doing it as a lettuce wrap. And, and then the showcase of what we can do at the farm. And then this is just basic ingredients of salsa that when stuff comes in the season in the summer, you can be able to put it together yourself and, and take it home. So how to do things easy and, and you can do it at home. Excellent. Do you mind if I try some? Sure, go ahead. And, and just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Neil Thompson. I'm from This Week News. Oh, okay. uh, we have a booth down here actually today. We have people come out and see us. And we oh, decided okay. we're going to do a Facebook Live event from here as well. well there you go. Just to see everything. So I'm going to try this yep. on camera. Yeah, and you're from uh, Dan Squid Farm. That's correct. Where's that located? Uh, North Marysville, Ridgeway, Mount Victory area. So we're about an hour away. Right. I live out near Plain City, so I know well, exactly you where you are. All right. So I'll take one of these chips here. What do you recommend here? Just all three things? Well, you can. It just depends on how you want to do it. We have some people do just oh. the salsas, some people do just the tacos, and some people mix it all together. Or well, you can do a wrap or something. You can do a wrap. I'll try a little bit like this, make myself a mini nacho. There you go. Do that. And it's a mild salsa, so it's not going to set you on fire. Okay. And I better get on that. Oh, yeah, you got to have those. Okay. Let's try it here. Mmm, it's spectacular. Oh, that's a beef and sausage mix. Exactly. Mm. I must have missed that when you said that. That is wonderfully spiced. Yep. There, there's not a lot of stuff added to it, so it's it's the taste of the taste of the, of the meat itself. I'm this, the one that made it. This is the young lady that made it all. Hi. My compliments to the chef. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. The idea is we're focusing on the on the Boston bib. It has a bigger leaf. You can use it as a wrap to use some bread. So now let me ask you guys: if um, people wanted to buy this from you, do you have a website or are you at yep. farmers markets exclusively? Uh, we're at farmers markets at Worthington. Uh, best card is here. Yes, yeah, so I open up farm table meal delivery service here in Columbus. And you're so. Beth Earl. Yes, I am. Here's that business card if anyone wants to take a, <laughs> That's a look at it. That's temporary ones. My last one's all ran out from last week. So, um, which is a good thing. And, and what's the website here? I see it right here. It's right now we're we're undergoing um, a whole new change because we're getting a whole new um, billing service for people and explaining basically we're pairing up with new farms right now. And Van Scoy, I'm kind of volunteering here, being the I guess resident chef for the <laughs> for the day and uh, just displaying how you can utilize all any farm to table type of type of meals. So. Excellent. And then your email address is thefarmplate at, at gmail.com. Gmail so that's thefarmplate at gmail.com. And Van Scoy's Farm is, we have pretty simple websites, vanscoyfarms.com. Now you go to our website, we also do uh, what's called a gift card. So there you go. And uh, is the gift card gift available? Card, you love that up just like any other gift card. And, and then buy product that way, and then we also have a CSA that, that we deliver to the market, and then Beth is working on a home delivery service for us for teaming up uh, because she does home, home delivery.
three meals, so then we can do home can delivery CSA. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And what was your website again? Uh, Vanscoyfarms.com. Vanscoyfarms.com. Yep. Excellent. All right. All right. Thank you well, very thank much. You for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Great to meet you guys. Hi. Thank you. We're going to go and we're going to look at a little bit more of what's available here at the market. We're walking down. We were on one side of the mall. As you can see, everything goes all the way up from one end to the other, quite literally. We're going to keep moving along here just to get a sense of everything that's available, everything we have. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Going great. How are you? Fantastic. You need bath fittings? That's what we have here. Is that right? Kitchen, bathroom, Ki and sunroom. Kitchen, bathroom, and sunroom. Everything is available at the Worthington Farmer's Market. Hello there, how are you? Very well, thank you. What all do you have available here? So, uh, all organic farm here. So, the far side, I've got uh, the ruby red popcorn and samples out. You guys are more than welcome. And then the uh, microgreens. So, we've got our blend and fresh spinach, first product to come out of our greenhouse. And some uh, black oil sunflower micros as well. Excellent, that's great. And what was your what was your uh, business again? Uh, it's 9N and Farm. 9N and Farm, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Excellent, thank you very and much. Yes, you guys have a great day. Hello, sir. How are you? Sharpening services from the market sharpener. How are you guys? Doing? We're getting back here to the middle of the uh, of the mall, and the theme is you just keep seeing more people. We're going to go up here and get one more look at what's going on, and then we're going to sign off because I'm going to have a lot more people to meet. So let's go up here to the middle. Well, that looks delicious. Oh, wow. So... Before we sign off, I think we're going to take a look at the salsas. And I know that uh, this particular uh, business has been featured in our Worthington paper before. Um, we have a, a question and answer session every, um, typically every summer uh, with Worthington Farmers Market vendors. And this is a clam loop hot sauce and they have, um, they're featured, one of the very first ones I think we featured last summer. So we'll take a quick look at that and then uh, we'll sign off here uh, for the day. I'm going to move up here. And take a look. Are you in my I'm doing great, how are you? I have uh, just recently we've actually written about this before. And, uh, so I think we're gonna try it. So it's a uh, What's the heat? Personal recommendation on the uh, on the hot sauce here. Okay. I'm doing this on camera so I don't necessarily want to uh... <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, we're getting a chance. We're going to try a little hot sauce before we sign off here. I'm going to step up over here to the side. 20 bucks? Yep. How you doing, wow. guys? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. This is, uh, the, we, uh, I'm from This Week News. My name is Neil Thompson. Hi, hey, Neil. And Mike, Bob, your what? Nice to meet you. you get, uh, Clam Lube was featured in one of our uh, market Q&As yes. uh, from last summer in Worthington. So I have never actually gotten to try your hot sauce. All right. So I'm excited to do so. So I've got a recommendation here on the hot. What do we have here to try? So we have a three pepper, uh, mild mango. Three pepper is actually green pepper cayenne jalapeno, so nothing crazy hot. Huh? Dance of Fire's Carolina Reapers. So that one's got a nice big bite to it. Okay. So maybe I'll try some Dance of Fire. We'll see how this goes. I do typically like hot stuff. Everybody's going to watch with rapt attention here to see how it gets me. It's kind of a sneaky heat. Okay. So you're going to eat it, and then you're going to go, oh, this isn't so bad. And then, and then it'll hit you right here. And then it hits you. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna try this. We'll see if it, uh, if it uh, works out for me. And this is again the Dance of Fire from Clam Lube Hot Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> It's down. That's a good heat. I can feel it right back here in my throat. It's a wonderful flavor. Usually with things like that, sometimes it gets a little too hot. That is a wonderful flavor. That is the Dance of Fire from Family Brand Hot Sauce. And there it is. I feel it right there in the back of my throat. Yep. That is excellent. Thank you for letting us try it and thank you for being out here. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, so that was Clam Lube. We're going to go ahead back to our booth and uh, meet some more community members. But for right now, this is Neil Thompson I'm signing off from the Indoor Worthington Farmer's Market, and I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have.